Welcome back to What Matters This Week. I'm Lauren Maloney. Joining me this Sunday is Alex Kershaw, author of Citizens and Soldiers, the first 200 years of Norwich University. Norwich history, I should say, of Norwich University. How are you? Great, thanks. How are you? Very good, thank you. Author of nine books, three New York Times bestsellers. Why Norwich University? Uh, they invited me to come and visit the campus and discover a little bit about their history. And I looked around, I looked in the museum, and I was bowled over. It was so rich, it was so, um, it was fascinating. I had a wonderful opportunity to be able to tell not only the story of an institution, a unique Vermont mm -hmm. institution, but also of 200 years of American history, because very, a lot of Norwich alumni have played starring roles in American history. They've been at critical battles, critical events throughout American history. So by cherry picking certain individuals, great warriors, fantastic engineers, politicians, etc. I was able to tell the story of America for the last 200 years, but through the lens of Norwich University, this unique institution in Vermont. So you're not from here, correct? Uh, <laughs> I've lived here for about 20 years. I know what the winters are like, put it that way. <laughs> Recently escaped to the south, but uh, no, I'm British originally. I came here when I was 28, but I've spent many happy years. I brought my son up in Vermont, so I, I know this fair fair state very well. So you, you knew the schools. This was an easy project I to knew take on. No, no, no. I don't think it was an easy project to, because it's a very, it's a complex history. It's a very, yeah. it's an institution that's very, very proud easy of Easy to history. say yes to. Yes, it was, and because it was such a great story. I mean, I'm a storyteller and I have specialized mainly in World War II, um, and Norwich has an incredible World War II history. Um, in fact, it's, from my point of view, it's the finest chapter in their, their history. But um, I wanted to write about America. I wanted to write about the military history of America, the educational history of America. And I thought that this, this was a fantastic cast of characters um, to, to thrust into a, uh, hopefully, a fast-paced, interesting narrative. How can Vermonters, then, learn something new about the state, something new about Norwich with your um, book? They can buy the book and read it. Um, it's, uh, you know, Norwich is a, is a great asset to this state. It's um, a unique institution. There are so many people that are from this state who have been educated at Norwich. It's the oldest private military college in the nation, uh, the only military college in the state of Vermont. Um, Vermonters have passed through Norwich and gone and fought in every war that this nation has fought. Uh, the Civil War, for example, World War II, um, it's a great, um, a great portal for all patriotic uh, Americans and in particular Vermonters who want to serve their country either on the battlefield or as citizens. The, the name of the book is Citizen Soldiers and Norwich specializes in doing two things, training good soldiers, mm -hmm. leaders of soldiers and um, hopefully great citizens, people who want to give something back both to the state and also the country. How much of a, a project was it to take on when it comes to researching the history? Um, there was a lot of primary source archive work. Um, I spent a lot of time at Norwich going through a lot of archives. Um, it was quite difficult. The most, the most difficult part of it was to try and choose which character to leave out and which to include. I had to cherry pick the best, the most interesting stories. But there so were, who got left out? Um, Tens and tens of thousands <laughs> of students, unfortunately. Uh, I mean, it was funny because I would look through the yearbooks. They have these, a huge collection of yearbooks, and I would look through, and there would be these thousands, literally thousands. I spent a whole day doing it. Thousands of these faces looking at me, you know, in, in uh, uh, sportsmen, engineering students from almost 200 years. And you would flick through these, these books, and there'd be countless, countless young Vermonters and Americans looking back at me. And I thought, oh, my God, there's an awful lot of people that I'm writing about, uh, and I have to make those hard choices, which ones um, accomplish something really significant. And by significant, I mean impacting the nation, winning a battle, um, you name it. Something that was important both to the history of Norwich, but also crucially to the history of the United States. What surprised you in the process of writing it? I was surprised. I, I knew a little bit about Norwich, having lived in Vermont. Um, I didn't realize that it, it wasn't just a military school. Do we take it for granted, people in Vermont? I, I think so, yeah. I mean, I, I certainly did. I think a lot of people do. I think a lot of people take Norwich for granted within the United States. Um, if you take one example, World War II, Norwich pr gave more as an institution than any other uh, institution within the United States during World War II. More officers, 
led others on battlefields across the globe during that conflict than from any other institution. Um, and that's not widely known. It, I, it, I hadn't wow. realized that yeah. beforehand. So I think if you look at major turning points in American history, whether it's the Civil War or the Second World War, Norwich gave more than any other academy, college, university of its size within the United States. It sacrificed more, it did more. Um, so that, that surprised me. I was also taken aback by, I was surprised by the idea that this wasn't just a military school, that um, it includes civilians, it um, welcomed women before any other service academy, it integrated people from all different cultures from around the globe, has done for many, many generations, and is a surprisingly um, progressive place. I don't mean that in the political sense, but I mean it in the sense of looking forward and changing and adapting to the needs of the US military and the US society. Um, so for example, a prime example of that is cybersecurity. Um, Norwich has, has led the way, in, has been a pioneer in terms of cybersecurity for over two decades now. Um, it's looking at other challenges that will face this country and it's investing a lot of money and time and energy in trying to prepare young people to deal with these issues as they confront us in the next Real decade. Real life issues, certainly. Yeah, absolutely. How to, Timely. How to lead, but also how to solve problems in crisis. It's homecoming weekend. Many people get their first glimpse of it. This weekend, this is the commemorative edition. What is the big takeaway, you know, this weekend when it comes to, to parents and students there? And what's the theme that you want to drive home especially? Um, to the community, to, to the community at Norwich itself is to be immensely proud, to, to know your history, to have a finally one volume that's beautifully illustrated that can inspire you and, and make you feel incredibly proud. And to Vermonters to say, hey, you know, you need to pay a lot of attention to this very special place on your doorstep and to the U.S., hey, this is a fantastic school that's produced amazing American leaders, both on the battlefield and elsewhere. Yeah, well said. Alex, thank you for joining us. Appreciate it. My pleasure. Thank you. We'll be right back on What Matters This Week.